the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one true God. Good morning. I'm here begging your financial support, your continued financial support, depends on whether or not Orthodox workers, the Monastery of the Holy Martyrs, has continued to do what it does. And that is serve people. Serve people that Christ brings to our doors. You've probably heard me many times say, we don't help anyone. We serve them. Christ didn't come here to help you. He came to serve you and serve me. And he brings people to our front door. He also, when I climb in the van and drive to different areas, he guides me to people that he once served. I can't do that without you. There is no such thing as a large donation. No such thing as a donation that is too small. You know, five, six, seven, ten dollars. Do you know how much gas that could put in the monk mobile that I can go out into an area? where there are homeless, sit down on the sidewalk with my Ethiopian coffee and Panera bread, and sit there and listen. No one listens to them. All you can do is look at their face. You can see what it's been like for them. Look in their eyes. The loneliness, the pain, No one sees them. You can make a difference just by sitting there and saying hello and shutting up and listening. Now, ask them their name. Use that name. I've had men tell me that no one has called them by their name for three, four, even five years. They have been called various derogatory names. Not that name that their mother gave them. Think about it. If no one told you by your first name, that name that your mother and that your father gave you, and it went on year after year, how would you feel now? How do you think they feel when you call them by the name that their mother gave them? And they just listen. As with everything, what I find is they will tell you what the problem is. And they are the experts more so than anybody in the suit, more so than any social worker, and definitely more so than any politician. They know what needs to be done. And if you are going to serve, you need to learn by listening and then walk with them and help them as they act. Every program here at the monastery, every project here at the monastery is based upon mutual assistance. I don't like politicians. I don't care if they're Democrats. I don't care if they're Republicans. And I've had both in my family. They all tell you the same thing. They all tell you what they're going to do for you. But what do they really do? Well, if you have a son or daughter that you want to grow up, have grow up and be a millionaire, best thing to do is right after college, have them run for office. Learn for us, the millionaires are. Can they relate to you? Can they relate to that single mother who lives in one room? 
has to work. Has to take care of her child. Will they know what it's like for the man who sleeps on the park bench? And before you ask, I know. I've done it. Will they know what it's like for the young girl who wakes up in the morning in a room which is a doorway? takes herself down to the soup kitchen. Oh, we don't have a soup kitchen here, by the way. We do cook food, and I need some help to do it. So if you're close, come on down. We serve community family dinners. Soup kitchens, you go through a line, you sit down, eat, you leave. Here. I'll sit down and have dinner with you. You're a family. There are no strangers. You may be a stranger when you open the door and walk in, but that is where it ends. Everybody, particularly politicians, I'll tell you how everybody is created equally. Well, that's that's there to get your vote and get your money. God does create you and me equally, but he does far, far more than that. God creates all of us as true icons of Christ. That old man sleeps in the doorway of the building. That old man sleeps on the park bench. Pulls the blanket over him and covered with snow in the morning. They are all right. And how many when you step over? How many of the beggars? You step over, you walk into the church, and in the church, you expect to find Christ in the chalice. Guys, he ain't going to be there for you. He never will. Because you step over him, go back out, sit down on the steps, and listen. You will see more than just the face of Christ, you will see and experience Christ himself. Listen, I'll we'll tell you what you need to hear. We're hurting. The pandemic has done a couple things. First, it's increased the demand for what we do. Food insecurity, big word, is increased. What it means, a mother does not have enough to put on the food for her husband and her children. Which means usually she goes without. I don't like that. I don't like when they have to go someplace and can have food. She can only come once a month. Or she can only come every two weeks. Excuse me, but that's bullshit. You get hungry every day. And our doors open every day. I do say once a week, but immediately will say, don't go away hungry. Come anytime you want. And come back. I've had a couple families that come in three and four times a week. And I had somebody say, they're taking advantage of you. 
No, but maybe I was taking advantage of them. It made me feel very good to know these two families who were living in their car had something fresh to eat every day. Food that belongs in the refrigerator or freezer doesn't last that long in a cooler. But I had a freezer and they could come in and get what they need. So if they wanted to come in every day to see what they're going to fix for dinner that night, so be it. They were not taking advantage of them. Me, I took advantage of them because it gave me the opportunity to serve. And that's what we're supposed to do. How many times do I have to say, Christ did not come to help you. Christ came to serve you, and he teaches us every day how to do that. And I pray Thanksgiving every day he brings people in my front door so I can practice doing that. And hopefully, one day, through not just the practice, but the prayers of my 100-year-old mother, that I get it right. That I get it right. I'm no saint. Never have been. Never will be. I'm just a tired priest, monk, will not stop. He probably isn't very really humble. He offends people probably more than once a day. Because I know you can do better. I expect you to do better. And I'm sorry. I know my mother is right. I've been a priest for 30 years. I've been a lawyer a lot longer. That lawyer practiced with a baseball bat and a sledgehammer. He got what his clients needed. My mother many times said, Son, you're forgetting that you're a priest and you're letting the lawyer come out and play. Well, the lawyer's out and playing right now. Why? Are you not here? I need people to come in here and help me. People to stock the shelves. In the Plymouth area, I no longer have people who deliver the food to the home. You know, there are people who can't come in. It might be your neighbor. Why don't you come and get food and take to them? And when you do it, sit down and listen to Listen, you may be the only person that is there that day. No, monastery is not a group of buildings. It is the community that resides within the building. It is also the community that comes in and maybe for a few minutes or a few hours in a day, becomes part of that community. It is also the community that she serves. We need your continued support. Without it, we fail. Without it, we can't do what we do. And we're going to have to start cutting some of the things that we do do. Bills have to be paid. I'm fairly successful in getting community partners that give us the food. But NIPSCO doesn't give us the electric bill. And the city of Plymouth does not give us the trash and the water bill. And Xfinity does not give us the telephone or the mobile phone. That's the only phone we have. It's in my pocket. 
I sleep with it. And I take calls two or three o'clock in the morning. Because there are people who want to be listened to. All of this is not done except without your help. Oh, I need gas in the monkey mobile so that I can go get the food, so that I can go out into the neighborhoods where the people are that Christ brings me to. We need your help. My solution is real simple. I get on here and rant and rave. But more importantly, when I finish this, I will go in the sanctuary and spread my arms before my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I will pray that he sees us through, that he will provide us what he knows. Way that he finds that one soul which today needs to be listened to. He either brings him in the door, takes him to the door. I have complete trust. That's how my mother raised me. I trust that our Lord and Savior will provide what we need. But you're the agent. We need your help. There's no small thing. No such thing as a small donation. Remember the widow in her might. It has such a great value. The world of value. And that is you. I'm asking you to serve as an agent of his divine providence. There's a link below that is Orthodox Workers, the Monastery of Holy Martyrs, PayPal account. You can go on the internet from any place in the world and make a donation. And if that donation is five or six dollars, you will get treated just as much as if it was ten thousand. Don't have to have dollars. PayPal converts it up. I don't know how. The computer does it. And it'll be there. And that means Tomorrow I can put gas in the monk mobile and I can take a drive to some of the worst places around here and meet the worst people in town and invite them to come on Sunday so I can serve them a meal. When I say the worst people in town, I'm not being derogatory. Here, you will find the worst people in town, and I count myself as one of those. Christ did not have dinner with perfect people. The perfect people were on the outside yelling at him and condemning him for eating with me and the rest of us. By the way, uh, food is really good in here. I didn't see any out there. They yell really loud. They have really big signs. But, as far as I know, there has been but one who was perfect. He's inside here with us, with all the worst people. My prayer is for all of you to go.
God's blessing will always be upon you. Will his mercies always fall upon you. May your guardian angels cover you with their wings and protect you. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one true God.